When most people think about spring gardening, they automatically think about the veggies, but there's lots of things going on in the flower garden also. As you can see, these pansies that were planted last fall are already starting to bloom, so we need to do some work. They have been mulched to give them a little winter protection, and you need to make sure you pull that away from the plants so that they will not rot or get some disease problems. Now the flower garden isn't the only place that needs some work. These black gum shoots need to be removed because they are serving no good purpose in this garden. There are some big pruning jobs that need to be done. This forsythia definitely needs to be pruned back, but wait until after it flowers. Trees and shrubs weren't meant to live forever. As you can see, this cedar shows signs of decline. It's beginning to break apart and it's time to take it out. There are plenty of other new trees standing here ready to take the place of these, and that's a good way to approach your landscape. Things that need to be removed, try to replace them with additional plants and go ahead and remove completely the ones that are no longer useful. It's crabgrass time. We don't see one sign of crabgrass yet, but that's the time to get the sprayer out. Dactol is a good pre-emergent herbicide. This can be sprayed down and you'll avoid a lot of crabgrass problems. Finally, spring means bulbs, and there's nothing that heralds spring better than the bulbs coming on. A good way to make the best use of them, of course, is to fertilize right now when they're at this stage. One teaspoon of 3400 or one tablespoon of 101010 around each bulb and try to avoid the crown of the bulb and scattering your fertilizer. It will damage it. It's spring and time to be working in the garden now. Uh, we've taken our first spade full of soil and the soil is actually too wet today. You can see how that balls up and sticks together. If we were to rototill the garden today, it would dry out and be slightly harder than concrete. Very difficult for the plants to come through and also difficult to work. The soil should fall apart loosely in your hand. It, it'll stick a little bit when it's ready to work. We can have one vegetable very early. Notice this spinach. Uh, this wintered over because we had a very mild winter. Sometimes it won't winter over though. When the soil does dry out, we've got some more spinach that we can plant that'll give us a little later spinach. Radishes, uh, two different types of peas, uh, leeks and onions. We can put onion sets in, rutabagas, turnips. We can also start planting cabbage transplants, uh, cauliflower transplants, and Brussels sprouts transplants. For Mary Witt, Sharon Bale, I'm John Strang, Extension Horticulturist in the UK College of Agriculture.